Hello, beautiful girl. The first time I got on her back was the most special moment I've ever had on a horse. This is the place that the diva built. I had this idea that I wanted to take some mates on an incredible journey around Australia to some of the most iconic, crazy race meetings that you'd ever possibly imagine. I'm starting to get a bit emotional because it's been a while since I've seen the big idea. So on one of my journeys I had Michael Crocker and Ty Canelli, and along the way, I got to introduce them to someone who changed my life, Maccabi Diva. It's going to be good, eh? Hey? Yeah, boys. They realised they were in the presence of someone very, very special. So, I'm getting <laughs> furious. Hey, Tony. Oh, Hello. How are you, mate? Good to see you again. You too. Hello, beautiful girl. Mm. This is good, Tane. She looks amazing, mate. She's in her early 20s. She can go around again the way she wants, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the first time I got on her back was the most special moment I've ever had on a horse. What was the thing that she was really good at? There Just, was not one thing. There's not like... She was good at it all. She was fast. She had this incredible will to win. She didn't like anything in front of her. No, no, she just wants... She was a dominant leader. That's just a trait that you can't teach. I had her for three seasons, and throughout those three seasons, she was on the whole time. Everything was always perfect. It's, a, it's ridiculous how good she was. I had so much trust in what she could do at any moment, and she had probably so much trust in me because, you know, she was waiting for my commands all the time. When she delivered my first Melbourne Cup victory, I knew how good she was at that point. And then she came back for her second attempt in 04, and she beat Vinnie Rowe. But he was the best two miler in the world, and she beat him. 05 was a sensational year. It was just meant to be. Racing in the Cox Plate. We had one object that season. We wanted to make her the, the champion champion. So we do that, you want to win the Cox Plate. In our greatest weight for age championship, she just went out and smashed it. Eight wide on the turn, hands and heels to the line. Just showcased everyone how good she was. So let's go and try and win our third Melbourne Cup. It just felt like destiny. She just walked out there like a big shiny Bentley with a V12 motor, just steam coming out of it. Its muscles were pumped, and you could just see in her eyes, she was like on. It was probably her easiest victory. She just absolutely smashed on that day, and that's when I just go, hat off moment, say, you know what, you're the greatest I've ever seen. I feel like jumping on just for one more time, Tony. <laughs> one last time. I'd be game. Mm, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> no, it doesn't deserve that, do you, Mama? Love you. How about that? Hey? Right. Oh. It was special. <laughs> yes, for us to sit back and watch you have that little moment there as well, it was really cool. Special she place. took me to a special place, and like she did that, you know. I was just a lucky bloke, happened to come along at the right time and was given that opportunity to ride her. <laughs> sad, he's sad now. It was an amazing experience. Hey. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. That was just a taste. The full series of Bossy's Bucket List, exclusively on Ladbrokes in 2023. had this crazy idea that when I retired, up, I'd go to all the remote race tracks in Australia that I could never get to when I was riding. I wanted to give something back to racing, and the country was calling. I've organised a revolving cast of lunatic mates to join me yeah! on the adventure of a lifetime. Picking items off my bucket list as we go. I'm going to race you. That tree? That tree. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. And every step of the way, we challenge each other. Go on, boss. To, well, anything that a bunch of good mates on a road trip can dream up. Oh. 